Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Thursday, January the 20th, and here are today's top headlines. Sheriff's deputies open fire on a suspect inside of an Orange County Walmart. What we're learning about the late night shooting. And the man who police say brutally killed a young woman inside a Hancock Park furniture store is now behind bars. The takedown and what we know about his violent past. Strong and gusty Santa Ana winds expected to begin today. We're tracking the latest conditions. The KTLA 5 Morning News starts right now. Well, good morning to you on this Thursday or pre-Friday, if you like. I'm Chris Schaub. I'm Megan Henderson. We appreciate you being with us. We will check your commute with Ginger coming up shortly. First time we have today. Uh, good morning to Kirk. Hey, good morning to you, too. Uh, I feel like Ginger loves it. Oh. Your mic's not on. You're pulling a Henry. Yeah, I was going to say, you like Henry so much, you're like, I'm going to do what he does. Did it really turn out? Can you hear me now? Yes, we can. Okay. <laughs> Ginger loves it when... What are you doing? Do you have the mic in your pocket? Hold you on. need to take oh. the microphone. I know you're new to TV, Kirk. Kirk just started working at TV. How long? Seriously, Sorry. you've been in the business like 20 years, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> the mic, it goes either on your lapel or your tie, my oh goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think I think I got why this. can't you hear me when it's in my pocket <laughs> okay wait can you hear me yes. now yeah yes. okay well I'm sorry about that take two brought the entire broadcast to a screech what's hall. funny about it is so you're like oh I just didn't turn it on and you go back into your pocket <laughs> no it was, I think it when I did that I flicked it down onto uh, the ground so yeah. anyway <laughs> I hope you're having a better day than I am <laughs> 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 Happy Friday Eve. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so warmer weather today. We're looking at Santa Ana winds, gusty Santa Ana winds, and mostly clear skies just about everywhere we go. Your zone forecast for today, a high of 73 degrees along the coast, 76 downtown LA, 74 in the San Fernando Valley, 76 in Orange County, 74 in the Inland Empire. The high desert should see a high of 62 degrees. So there we have it. <laughs> Friday Junior, Ginger, now back to you. You know what? You are in good company, Kirk, on Sam Does It, Henry Does It. I can't figure out a way to turn my mic off, so there you go. Hi, good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. So we're off to a great start for sure this morning. In fact, let's take a look at the Caltrans camera, okay? So this camera sits looking at both directions right at Euclid on the 10 freeway, but the thing is there was some chatter about a crash in lanes. We don't see a crash. Uh -uh, it looks really good here. I mean, maybe in the distance you see something that starts to bunch up, but all around things are great, free-flowing, open. So for our friends in Ontario, good Good morning to you. Let's take you over to look at your drive. Let's see. That's a look at Ontario Airport. How about John Wayne Airport? All of these, of course, a little early to be catching a flight out of any of the airports. And for now, anyway, if you have plans to be, you know, Westminster, Cyprus, Stanton, some of those other great sp spots, excuse me, you're looking at a nice ride, just some construction for that 405 freeway mm, through Westminster and then in towards Fountain Valley with all those signs should be set up. And of course, that Brookhurst on and off ramp closed still uh, for that 405 freeway. We'll keep track of all these things that will start to pop up on your Friday Eve. I'll send it back to you, Megan and Chris. Ginger, thank you. We begin with this breaking news out of South El Monte. That is where a death investigation is underway. This is a live look at the scene. It's on Garvey Avenue near Chico Avenue. Just after 11, L.A. County Sheriff's deputies witnessed a fight between a couple in a parking lot. Deputies took the man into custody. They say that then uh, during their investigation, the woman jumped into the car and drove directly at them, striking a patrol car and a deputy and the man in custody before fleeing the scene. That man was declared dead at the scene and a deputy was taken to a hospital in stable condition. After a short pursuit, the woman was taken into custody. A vigil will be held later today for 24-year-old Brianna Coop.